Today, I'd like to talk a little about the Site Reliability, or SRE, discipline and how we can apply it to simplifying monitoring for complex modern applications. This will help us identify root causes more quickly and drastically reduce the mean time to recovery so that we can maintain the end user performance that we want for our applications. So first, let's take a look at what happens before we've applied these SRE principles to our monitoring. So let's say that I'm the owner of an application um, and I've gotten an alert that says that I'm having a latency issue. Now, my application is really critical for this business, and so I need to find the root cause quickly. But because I'm part of this complex microservice topology, it can be really difficult to figure out where exactly the root cause is coming from. And to make things more complex, all of my dependencies could be based on different technologies. So let's say one is built on Node.js, one is a DB2 database, another is written in Swift, and so on. Now all of these have different metrics that are typically monitored, and I may not be an expert in any of these different technologies, so it may be difficult for me personally to go in and figure out what the problem is. So I would have to call in a expert for each of these technologies. Now, as you can imagine, this is time consuming, for everyone to go through their service, figure out if there is a problem, or if I need to keep going downstream. And all the while, my users are still experiencing this latency issue. Now, what if there was a better way? This is what we can learn from the SRE discipline, which tells us that there's really only four key performance indicators that we need to monitor, not all the different metrics for each technology. And we call these golden signals. So the golden signals are latency, which is the time it takes to service a request, errors, which is a view of the request error rate, traffic, which is the demand placed on the system, and saturation, which is our utilization versus max capacity. Now, let's go back to our initial example and see how this would work applying the golden signals. So my service, we'll call it service A, we know we have a latency issue. Now, we know that latency is typically a symptom, and if we examine the service, let's say we're not seeing any of the causes, so we know we have to keep looking downstream. But we don't wanna go back to this complicated microservice topology and try and figure it all out. So, some APM tools can help you out with this by identifying only the services that are one hop away from my service in question. So let's say we have services B, C, and D that are connected to my service A that's having the problem. Now, no matter what technology these services are built on, all we need to do is go look at the golden signals. So let's say we look at the golden signals for service B and everything looks fine. So we know service B is not the problem. And let's say service C, same scenario. We don't see any issues, so we can eliminate that as the problem. Now service D, let's say that we're seeing an issue with our saturation, which is trending upwards. So right there, after only a few minutes, we've identified service D is likely our root cause. So now, instead of having to pull in the experts for each of these different services, now we can go directly to service D and let them know that we've identified that they're likely a cause of this issue that we're having, and they can go about fixing it. And what's even better is if they're using golden signals to monitor their service, it's very likely they've already identified this and are already working on the fix. So as you can see, this process drastically improves the time that it takes to go through this complex topology and many different technologies to figure out where your root cause is and identify exactly how to fix it. So when you're identifying an APM tool to use, make sure that it offers the ability to use these golden signals and this one hop dependency view so that you can quickly identify the root causes and get your service restored as quickly as possible.
Thanks for watching this video on simplifying monitoring for modern applications.